Hi again there guys, I'm here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And in today's video we're going to show you how to paint this beautiful ballerina, focusing on those really lovely folded material pieces. So for this painting as always we're going to start with our sponge guys, just because it's such an easy tool, particularly when it comes to blending really subtle backgrounds. The colour I'm using here is just the warm blue which is a slightly lighter, more ocean colour blue. You'll notice that it's blending really quite pale. That's because I'm using a pre-primed canvas. So the background is already wet with the paint, just to give that lovely, subtle, pastel -y effect to the painting. So you'll see that I'm doing those lovely, subtle circles, just to give a little bit more control, just so that the colours really do blend very subtly. So I'm just going to add a little bit now more of the, the cooler blue. So it's got a little bit more of a hint of a red in this, so it's more of a purpley blue. And you'll notice I'm not blending the two together just yet, because I really want to have the two different colours distinguished. And in a moment, I'm just going to put the two into each other. The other benefit as well here, guys, is if I've got too much pigment on the sponge, then you're really going to struggle to get those two colours to blend. So I'm actually just getting rid of a lot of the excess paint at the moment. And then as you can see here, I've just flipped over the sponge and this will enable me to have a little bit more control when it comes to blending those two colours together. Keeping that circular motion really just enables you to be a bit more subtle with that blend. So I've just got a little bit more of the darker colour now, just because I want to have that nice contrast of the dark corner, whereas obviously it's going a little bit lighter into the top right hand side. The paintings are all about contrast, so you really want to achieve those lovely different ranges of colour. But obviously the emphasis here is just to make sure that I've got a nice dynamic blue in the bottom left corner. Now the technique here is I'm actually starting to really add the texture of the skirt in a moment. So I'm just going to use the very fine edge of the sponge just to drag some of those lines into the centre. It's a really lovely technique because it means that you're, even though it's the background, I've already started actually painting the foreground detail, but just want to show where that texture of the dress is. You can actually see where the dress is going to form now, just in that bottom right hand corner. So here's a size 8mm round headed brush. And I've got quite a lot of white pigment on my brush this time because the background is still a little bit wet. But I'm just going to start sketching out where I want my ballerina to go. You'll notice the top is obviously much thicker in terms of colour because that's where the highlight is going to be hitting. So I really want to make sure that that's going to be quite bright. So I'm going to probably do two or three coats of that in a moment. I'm just going to continue to sketch out where her arms go. It's really important that you just subtly sketch out your painting or your drawing an effect at this stage because if I started doing detail and I got the composition slightly out then of course I'm going to have to redo the whole painting again. So I'm just making sure that I've got the ballerina fairly central with her two legs and her arms and now obviously I can start to work into that dress detail to start building up those lovely folds of fabric. This technique is all about layers guys, so you're going from background to foreground the whole time so it really does start to build up your painting. But the nature of this painting is it's a little bit more abstracted so I'm just going to exaggerate some of that gorgeous texture of the skirt in the background as well as the foreground. So you can see I'm actually going beyond the skirt here. But that's just to give that sense of movement, so it's not a still figure. You can almost imagine that she's gliding across the canvas. So I'm just going on now with the cooler blue, just to give a hint of that sort of lovely ocean colour coming through the skirt. And again, it's all about layering. So we want to really start building up that lovely contrast of the dark and the white folds. Um, you know, to, to really just show the movement of the skirt as it's moving through the movement of the ballerina. For the rest of this painting guys it really is now about adding all that extra detail so I'm going to allow you to just watch and see that technique build but again it's all about getting that contrast and movement so you'll notice some of the marks in a moment will be a little bit more detailed in terms of getting the actual shape of the skirt to move around.
if you have enjoyed today's video guys please do hit that like button as it really does help our channel and if you'd like to see some more paintings just like this one or weekly top tips then do hit that subscription and notification bell just below because this channel is all about getting beginner painters back into the motion of painting. Alrighty guys we'll see you next time. Happy painting!